Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tori and today we are working on October Daily story number four. As you see here, I've got quite a few photos to document today. I have a total of five, a Studio Calico Halloween stamp set, Studio Calico Alpha stickers, and a couple of Allie Edwards papers. I also have this Dress My Craft borderline stamp, but unfortunately that does not end up working for me and we'll see that a little bit later in the video. Like I said, I do have five photos to document today, so I am doing flip ups. I did not pull anything from my technique materials or prompt jars because my family and I took a trip down to Coco Village today and walked around, visited some small shops and just had, had a nice little family day. So I'm documenting that today and since I was planning to do flip ups because I had so many photos, I decided that that was a, enough of a technique. <laughs> The first thing I did was kind of get everything trimmed down to their appropriate sizes and now I am moving on to kind of dry fitting everything onto my layout to make sure that I've got everything where I want it to be and also that it fits where I want it to be. <laughs> so I'm liking the way that this looks and I'm going to take all of the photos back off. When I officially lay them down they will be laid out a little bit differently but still in kind of a same-ish way. This paper that I'm using here is 80 pounds cardstock, and I really wish I had just used a piece of computer paper because it ended up making things quite thick, but it's fine. So I'm going to take this piece of scrap 80 pound cardstock, I'm going to glue it in between my full page photo and the pattern paper that I want to let to rest behind that full page photo. And then I will glue the other side of this to the back of that like tri that diamond paper. That way I'll be able to flip open and glue the rest of my pictures on top of the pattern papers. Hopefully that made sense. <laughs> and I will do this twice in this video as well. So I've got this main flip and then I will also add another flip underneath one of my actual 3x4 photos to house my journaling as well. Now that I've got my main flip mostly done, I am going to pull out that dress, that dress my craft punch and try and punch through the main photo and pattern paper. I wanted to add this really pretty edge to it, but unfortunately I think my pattern paper is way too thick in order to punch through. And I try to do it twice before I decide that it's not gonna work. Um, it won't, like it just won't punch through. And I didn't wanna break the punch trying to force it. So I'm gonna decide to go a different route and just trim that paper and have a plain solid edge and trim this paper down to four inches instead of the four and a half that I had for that punch to be the edge. Since I am skipping adding that decorative edge to my main flip, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to gluing my flip to my base page, which is that diamond pattern paper. And then I am going to lay out my photos again uh, and make sure everything is looking good where I want it and I will start gluing down my photos as well. This dot liner that I have, I will link it below this tape runner it is my all-time favorite tape runner. I have used or tried several different brands and kinds, etc., etc., and this is the one that has worked the best for me. I never run into that issue unless it is very close to the end of the tape runner where, you know, you're like taping and then all of a sudden it just stops running the tape and then you have to like restart. I never run into that issue with this particular tape runner and like I said, it's my absolute favorite. So I will link this below if you're interested. It is repositionable, but I used it in all of my outside the page protector pages for my December daily last year and I haven't had any issues with anything coming off where I have used this tape runner to glue it down and I've used it for some things that I probably shouldn't 
like more heavier chipboard items that will probably fall off if you mess with it too much. But I've not had that issue. Um, so I will, like I said, link this below. I got it from Amazon and you can buy the refills on Amazon as well. All right, now that my little tape runner tangent is over, uh, back to what I'm doing. I pulled out a piece of this Studio Calico paper from the Sears kit, and I am going to use this kind of like lined ledger paper. I'm gonna trace one of my photos to make it sort of the same size. I will actually trim this down a little bit more. I want this to be underneath the photo of all three of the kids. Um, side note I love that photo we walked by this building in downtown Coco that had all of these like chalk marker drawn like spooky items like Frankenstein um, a skeleton it was adorable so I'm since that's my favorite photo that's the photo that I'm gonna put my journaling under and I'm using this ledger paper to be the flip to be the quote-unquote photo underneath the flip for the flip on this one, I am just using a piece of regular printer paper because I'm trying to cut down a little bit on all of the bulks that I've created with this page. Um, and then I am deciding between whether I want to use this pink dot grid or the multicolored dots. Initially, when I pulled this second piece of paper out, this is also from the Halloween kit from Studio Calico this year, I had planned to put the dots underneath the photo, the multicolored dots. But when I was laying it down, getting ready to actually adhere my paper, I completely changed my mind and flipped it over and I have now the pink showing um, when you actually flip that up. And then that is where I will add just a little bit more decoration once it comes time to start doing that. Now that I've got all of my photos adhered down to my page, I am going to pull these tabs from the Allie Edwards Halloween kit from this year, and I'm going to add a tab to this photo flip up, just as a reminder that there's actually something underneath here since this is where I will be putting my journaling. I am also going to use my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher to staple that tab onto that photo because the ones that I used earlier I believe on story three, one of them actually started separating, or maybe it was my, it doesn't matter when it was, but one of them started separating, so I've been um, securing them with my Tim Holtz tiny attacher. I'm then going to grab my adhesive Velcro dots to put on either side of my main flip up to kind of hold that down because this has ended up being quite the bulky little page and I want to make sure that it stays shut when I'm not actually actively looking at it. Um, so I will link these below. I got them from Amazon as well and I love them. I bought them probably the middle of last year and they've lasted me for a very long time. I don't use them a ton, but with these main like major month long projects, they're super handy for keeping your big bulky pages shut tight the way you want them. So then I'm moving on to adding my title, which is going to be Coco Village because that's where we went to visit. And I'm using these alpha stickers from Studio Calico, I believe. I'm sure that these probably aren't available anymore because I think this is the way that they used to do their alpha stickers when they first started like their subscription kits. And this is not how they come out anymore. And I think I got these at like a like a blowout sale or something like that. So I don't think I'll be able to link these. I'll double check and if I can find them, I'll link them below. But as a heads up, I don't think they're available. So like I said, I just kind of use those stickers to spell out Coco Village. And then I'm gonna pull my little date roller stamp and stamp um, October 7th. Um, several times I'm going to stamp it and then third second third and I think fourth generation stamp it after that and then I will pull out 
the new Halloween stamp set from Studio Calico as well. And I'm going to embellish the corners and some other areas of these three by four photos that I have on the inside of my flip. I have some Halloween-esque images, but I really wanted to bring the spooky level up some, so I'm gonna use the little spider web corner stamps and stamp those in the corner. I'm also going to use the bats, and then I believe the stamp that says eat, drink, and be scary, and then I think spooktacular as well. And then I will use the outline of the boost stamp and place that on Luna's photo. My filming kind of cut off about halfway through stamping because I reached my 30 minute mark. Um, so I didn't get all of the stamping, but you get the picture. And now I am working on the pink portion of my photo flip up and just kind of seeing what I want to add here. And I'm actually gonna pull out the gold die cut words from last year's Allie Edwards Halloween kit. And I'm gonna put it on there as love this. And then I'm going to use my Studio Calico word strip stickers. I purchased these last year, but I think they came out before that. So these might be several years old. Uh, but I'm going to be using these stickers to add a couple of sentiment strips underneath Love This. But before I start putting those down, I am going to use my Barely Arts glue and just glue down my Love This die cuts. And then I'll move on to choosing the word strips that I want to use. Funnily enough, I choose another spooktacular and um, adventure. So it'll read spooktacular adventure. I guess for some reason I didn't notice that I had already used the spooktacular stamp. So that's now on this page twice, but it is also on the photo that's on the other side of this flip up. So I don't think it looks too repetitive. And I didn't even notice that I did it until doing the voiceover for this actual video. But it's super cute. I like the way that it came out. So after I get those word strips added, I am now done with that flip up. And I'm just kind of showing you here the photo on my phone. If you swipe the photo up, it gives you the option to add notes. So when I take photos on my phone and I start doing my journaling ahead of time, I just do them under the notes on the photo. That way I can pull it up and just copy that and print it out. I, I think I am going to do my journaling on clear sticker paper for this particular photo. So I'm pretty close to being done here with this page and I want to add a little bit of embellishment to the top of my primary photo. So I pulled out this stamp set from the stamp market and I'm going to grab this spiderweb stamp off of it. And I'm going to stamp that spiderweb twice off the page, but kind of different sides of that spiderweb. I thought I was gonna like this a lot more than I actually did. And I don't know if it's because the first stamp didn't stamp fully or if, I don't know. I don't know what it was about it that was just not feeling too right for me. So I decided to just kind of keep adding things to see if I did end up liking it. I'm gonna use my black phrase stickers and use the Jeepers Creepers sticker. And then I'm also, after I get this added into my album, going to add the number four to the top. And I think adding those extra little things made it a lot more appealing to me. I think it makes the spider webs look more joined than they actually are. Um, but I think for now, I'm not gonna reprint this photo. I'm just gonna leave this as is. I think future me will like it a lot more than present me does. <laughs> That is all I have for story number four today. If you made it to the end of this video, leave me a little bat emoji in the comments below. Let me know what your thoughts or opinions are on this spread. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.